Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rusty78609 live and in color from his 16 foot travel trailer at his home base in Central Texas, USA. I have RV'd for over 25 years. I've also camped in a, in a Prius, a Toyota Prius. I did that off and on for about five years. And I've also gone camping in a pickup with a camper top on it. And that's the one that has a question today. Linda Lou, where are you? One of our viewer subscribers says, Hey Rusty, I'm at the point of buying a cap for my pickup. I watched your vlog on Dometic Refrigerators. I was thinking of having cap people install a 2500 watt inverter. She got question marks after that. But I read somewhere that would drain truck battery quick. Probably would. That's, that's a biggie. Uh, I am going to get Zamp suitcase and AGM battery. Good. Is there anything else I ought to know? I have no idea about electric and perhaps I ought to set it up the way you did. Look like straight to the inverter and 120 amp battery in bed of your truck. Thank, thanks for any suggestions either from you or other Rusty's Rangers. Uh, anyway. First, my first question is, Linda, why are you getting a 2,500 watt inverter? What are you going to run? I mean, yo, I mean, uh, you know, I, I, I ran my refrigerator, uh, a, a little uh, fan, and uh, what else? Charge my laptop, charge my phone. Uh, I think that's about all I did. And I, I never had any problem at all when I was in the pickup with the camper top and also I got a Lear 180 camper top be sure and get the uh, carpet on the inside of the uh, camper top why because it reduces condensation and number two if they can have them install a inside light 12 volt deal that hooks up to your truck so you'll have a light there when you crawl in you can turn that on I wouldn't use it all night but you know you could use it some of the time anyway but yeah you can run uh, a lot of things using a 300 watt I've got a 300 watt or ZAMP 300 watt pure sine wave inverter so if you're going to get an inverter uh, and you're going to be charging your laptop and cell phone and other computer stuff uh, be sure and get a pure sine wave inverter why because apparently there's some electrical stuff that is better for your laptop and stuff if it's a pure sine wave inverter and I'm not going to try to get into the details because I don't know what the details are I just know that a pure sine wave inverter works better for the equipment I was using now as to the refrigerator I use a Dometic CF18 that will run on 12 volt R110 it comes with a plug for the 12 volt you plug it into a little cigarette lighter adapter and I have uh, attached to my battery I have a cigarette lighter adapter directly on the AGM 120 amp hour battery so when I plug in the Dometic refrigerator I'm plugging it directly to the battery basically okay and I know you know this but just remember that solar doesn't run anything okay solar only charges batteries okay and then the inverter that when you have using a battery it's just going to convert the 12 volt to 110 and uh, and anything you want to run with 110 uh, you would need that uh, type of inverter so you know but if you if you're planning on running like a toaster or a microwave and stuff like that uh, you know you you might want to check and see uh, you may need a 2500 uh, watt inverter I don't know what I'm saying is is you know redefine what you're going to be running using the uh, uh, inverter or far because you, know, you, you you can run the refrigerator and you don't need an inverter you can even plug it into the cigarette lighter of your vehicle it'll do fine and also the Dometic CF18 and all Dometic products as far as I know have a, a little detector thing so that if the battery that's running are providing the charge for the refrigerator drops the refrigerator cuts off so it's not going to uh, drain your battery to the point that your vehicle won't start if you were using it off your vehicle battery I, I, I rarely uh, ran mine off the uh, battery now if I was traveling long distances like I was going to be traveling for four or five hours 
Uh, yeah, I would. I'd just put the, the Dometic CF-18 in the cab of the truck, plug it into the cigarette lighter, and that just saved a little battery life. And that way, whenever I got to my next campsite, I didn't have to immediately run around and put out the solar. I could, you know, goof off, so to speak. But I had, uh, you know, again, the solar package I have is the 120 watt ZAMP portable. It's a suitcase portable. It folds out. And I've also got, it comes with a 15 foot cord and I've also got a 15 foot extension. And does it come in handy? Yes. I would never mount solar directly on my RV anywhere. Why? Because that forces you to have to park in the direct sunlight. You know, and you may not want to do that. I mean, if you're going to, if you're in an area where there's some shade trees and it's a warm day, take advantage of that shade. You know, you can put your solar out in the sunlight by using your extension card and stuff and you're good to go. But, you know, so it says, thanks for any suggestions. I have no idea about electric pack to set up the way you do. Uh, you know, just, I would say just start off simple. Of course, I'm not going to say, I take that back. You start off any way you want to, because if you make a mistake, you'll know soon enough. But I don't know again what all you plan on running, but 2,500 watt inverter tells me you're planning on running a lot. <clears throat> it tells me you're probably going to try to run a microwave or something else or some kind of a, maybe an instant pot. I don't know. Uh, because an instant pot uh, draws 700 watts when it's cooking and, it, and it's cooking whenever it's on, it's cooking. So, but good luck to you, Linda Lou. I think you'll enjoy your truck, camp, truck, truck camping, but again, my setup, as you saw, uh, and the good thing about the, uh, the inverter, the 300 watt pure sine wave inverter from Zamp, and I'm sure others have it too, it's got a USB port. So, you know, while you're running your stuff, you can be charging your phone and stuff. But in my vehicle, and I'm sure yours too, there's plenty of USB charging ports to keep your phone charged and your laptop charged without ever using your AGM battery. Uh, I, I rarely use the AGM battery to charge the phones. I take two phones or the uh, laptop. Uh, I did all that while I was either driving around the vehicle or if the laptop was low, I just put it in the cab of the truck and charge it right there, you know, wh wh wherever I was parked because it, it doesn't take that much juice to charge uh, the uh, laptop or at least the one I have. I have a Chromebook. But again, so anyway, good luck to you, Linda Lou. Where are you? And uh, I hope this helps. If it doesn't, well, oops. <laughs> yeah, you'll enjoy it. But, you know, you, you can watch videos. Well, actually, you can watch so many videos you get confused about, you know, the amps, watch, solar, AGM, and all that kind of stuff. But if you're just going to run the Dometic refrigerator, maybe a fan, uh, maybe a couple of other small items, you know, some lights and stuff, you don't have a problem. I mean, what I did for lights, and you, should, you might want to consider it, you know, they make these little, uh, I can't remember the name of them, they're little lights you just set out in the sunlight. They're cheap as dirt, 15 bucks, and they have a little uh, solar. Let me see if I got one. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, here's one right here. Yeah, these, th these things just blow up like, you know, it's like a little balloon. You See this? You open that little valve and blow them up if you want to. I never did blow them up. And it's got a little solar panel on the bottom. And you just set that out in the sun. My hair has a mind of its own. Hair with a mind of its own. But anyway, yeah, and I can't remember. What are these called? Lucy lights. Yeah, Lucy. L-U-C-I. Lucy lights. Yeah, you can get them on uh, Amazon pretty cheap. I, I've got two of these. And, and let me see, what, tell you what else you can do. If you if you got lights on inside your camper top, you can put these under the lights and they'll charge. If it's a cloudy day outside, anyway, enough said about that. But having said that, good luck, Linda Lou. Where are you? This is Rusty78609 in his 16-foot travel trailer, soon to be a 17-foot casita, saying thumbs up, carpet diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything you want, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission. doesn't cost you one penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Take deep breaths, you know, breathe in deep, hold it, and then breathe out slowly. That relieves stress, lowers your blood pressure, very good for you. Stretch, 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 do all that stuff. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside your head, you know what I mean? Accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative, okay? Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.